Join Dr. Andrew Incoyoyo and Night Vision Music Festival July 15, 2016 in Olathe, Colorado. Dr. Andrew will be the guest speaker among various Christian musical artists from around the world. If you're looking for a family-friendly atmosphere of fellowship, as well as a powerful message from God, you don't want to miss Dr. Andrew and the Night Vision Music Festival July 15, 2016. For more information, log on to KingdomImpactMinistry.org. It doesn't matter what you're going to encounter. You're going to fight Amalekites. You're going to have to fight giants. But you're going to war in rest, in peace. Why? Because you're resting in my glory. And my glory is transforming you, okay, and is producing the power as we saw that the first manifestation of the glory is the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you my friends for joining me again here in the studio as we study really dig deep into the wonders of God's glory because I believe it is so crucial you know that we understand what the glory of God is because when we know what the glory is we can persevere in living in the glory walking in the glory and actually accessing the fruit and the power and the results of the glory of God and so that's why we are laboring by the Spirit of God to bring you into a deeper understanding and even a deeper experience because it's not just about the head knowledge we all know a lot about the glory of God but we all do we experience the glory the way God wants us to experience the glory so we are talking about the manifestations of the glory you see Exodus 33 verse 13 now therefore if I have found favor in your sight please show me your ways that I may know you in order that I might find favor in your sight okay this is Moses' prayer before God the glory of God reveals and imparts the knowledge of God's ways please put this in your spirit we all want to walk in the ways of God in the knowledge of God's will, really, that's what it is, the perfect, the center of God's will for your life and mine. But I have come to realize and experience out of my own experience that the, the more I dwell and abide in the glory of God, the more I get to know the ways of God. Because now it's not about what I'm thinking, what I can uh, out of my mind understand or even out of rationale make sense but when the glory of God fills you as I'm gonna show you in this series it quiets your soul so where your spirit man is in touch with the Holy Spirit okay and that's where the impartation of the knowledge of the ways of God is is when your soul submits to the spirit and the spirit actually can lead you Okay, you are living out of your spirit, not out of your soul, man. Most of us live out of, out of the soul. You, you know, when we, in, uh, the baby grows up, the first thing we do, you know, we start training the soul. Okay, we, we do classes, we teach this, we teach that. You know, and, but we are developing the soul, the mind, and it's very good. But you see, the mind cannot just be over your spirit. Okay, uh, and so, because... Your relationship takes place in the depth of your spirit, man. Okay? And so, when you are filled with the glory of God, the glory releases, imparts the true knowledge of the ways of God, of the will of God. You know, somebody asked me, how can I know God's will and God's plan for my life? Maybe it's time we went and started abiding in his presence more so that the presence will silence our, our, our soul so then we can hear actually what the spirit is saying okay and so the glory of God releases imparts the ways of God the true knowledge of the ways of God okay uh, and then out of uh, verse 14 he says my presence will go with you and I'll give you rest the glory of God imparts the rest of God. 
Do we want to rest in God? God says to Moses, my presence, my glory is going to go with you. And as long as the glory is in you, with you, upon you, you are going to experience supernatural rest. Okay? It doesn't matter what you're going to encounter. You're going to fight Am Amalekites. You're going to have to fight giants. But you are going to war in rest, in peace. Why? Because you are resting in my glory. And my glory is transforming you, okay, and is producing the power as we saw that the first manifestation of the glory is the power of the Holy Spirit. You want to know the power of God? Know the glory of God because that's where it begins. The power is a result of the glory. Okay? And here God says to Moses, rest, resting in God, freedom from anxiety, stress, and depression, and worry, and all these things is a result of the glory of God in your life. Hallelujah. That, I found that out when the Holy Spirit began to teach me that, my goodness, what a relief to know that I don't have to you know, stay up all night. And, you know, some people, maybe you're watching and you're suffering from insomnia. It's time you, you purposely and, and intentionally went to God and said, God, fill me, invade my spirit, my whole being with your glory. And you're going to experience a supernatural rest and a peace that is going to come upon you. That is beyond understanding. And there, you're going to begin to walk in rest. It doesn't matter how many wars you're fighting, how many things are coming against you. The rest of God, the peace of God, you see, the peace of God, the Bible talks about that it surpasses all understanding, is found in the glory. Okay? You can try to memorize scripture. You can try to, to confess. And, and all that is good and could be helpful. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like encountering the raw, just presence of the Almighty God. It just, that's why he says, be still and know. Well, I'm going to show you. You cannot be still in your own way, in your own strength. You can't just say, well, I'm just going to choose to be still. You could try. Some people close their eyes and, you know, you lean back and you say, okay, now I'm still. That's not what the stillness is talking about. He's talking about the stillness of your spirit. See, when you are spiritually still, you can know. You see, the glory of God is not known by your flesh. Not even by your mind. It's known by your spirit. Now, the power right now, you see me, uh, you know, excited. This is the anointing. The anointing comes on you. The anointing gets you excited about things, about action. The glory will steal you to know the Almighty God, to know the ways of God. To know God is done and is experienced in the depth of your spirit. The glory of God imparts the true knowledge of God. That's right. Verse 13, part B, the same chapter, 33. He says, show me your ways that I may know you indeed. You see, the ways of God, the glory of God, they are one and the same. And Moses says, as long as I can know your ways and your glory, I'm going to know you indeed so that I may find favor. You see, it is the knowledge that God is imparting to you, my friend, that is going to release the favor of God. Because you're not walking before God as a beggar or as a slave, but you are a son and you are a friend of God. And there is a depth that is going to come when the Spirit of God begins to preach God. You see, I'm preaching to you, but I'm telling you, there is nobody that preaches God like God. Amen? Amen? I'm just an instrument yielding to the Spirit of God to preach God to you, to bring you into the true knowledge. Moses says, as long as your presence, your glory is with us, I'll be able to know you indeed. Dear friend, I challenge you today to begin to change your perception, how you think about the glory of God. It's not something out there. The glory of God, it is a person. I challenge you to watch the other episodes in, on this series because I want you to come into the full knowledge. That's part of our mandate, to bring you into the full knowledge of God so you can be dangerous for God. 
Doesn't matter what age you are, where you're from, where you're at right now, you can be dangerous for God because when God fills you with the glory, the result of the glory is going to be evident. You're going to know God. You're going to be filled with the power of God. You're going to rest in God. You're going to walk in all the things that the glory of God will do in you and for you and through you. So I encourage you to stay tuned for the next episode because I'm going to show you more manifestations of that glory and then show you the results of the glory. God bless you. If you have this hope of spending eternity, then you purify, you wash your robes in the blood of Jesus and you prepare yourself. As a believer, the keys to the supernatural are in your hands and with them you can access your inheritance. In his newest book, Working the Works of God, Dr. Andrew teaches us how through the glory of God and his anointing, we are empowered to move past our human abilities and function in the supernatural realm where nothing is impossible. Order your copy today. To become a Kingdom Impact Ministry partner or sow a financial seed, call us toll free 1-855-41-VOICE. That's 1-855-418-6423 or log on to www org. Watch Andrew on the Kingdom Come broadcast 24-7 online at kingdomimpactministry.org and on our Kingdom Impact Network channels available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Google TV, and iTunes. To receive prayer, order resources, or to become a partner with Kingdom Impact Ministry, call us toll-free, 1-855-41-VOICE. That's one 1- 855-418-6423 or visit us online at kingdomimpactministry.org You can also write to us at Kingdom Impact Ministry P.O. Box 2073 Montrose, Colorado 81402